Hey guys, good morning. Um, just gonna do a quick little update slash unboxing and update here. Um, some of you guys might know uh, if you're keeping up to dates with me. Uh, I did have one of these fail on the trail. Uh, this is the Warren Epic uh, snatch block, uh, 12,000 pound snatch block. Um, had one of these snap rings uh, pry their way out and damage this little spindle that it's uh, attached to. Um, <clears throat> bought this from Trail Toys in Wasilla, Wasilla, Alaska. Um, I'd called them. Uh, it was actually after hours. The guy answered. Um, said yeah bring it on down Tuesday and uh, we'll take care of you so I was like okay you know I'm not real sure what that means but I'll go down and see if I'm out the 150 bucks 140 bucks whatever they cost or not <coughs> uh, came in there and he was like hey it's got to go to warranty um, but basically they're gonna take care of it for me so they just swapped me out gave me this and uh, they're going to deal with Warren in there, faulty product, but uh, I don't even know if it's faulty, it might have just broke, but either way, um, took care of me uh, pretty well, so during my social media craze, I uh, posted this uh, broke uh, snatch block, and um, a couple guys had uh, recommended this guy here, and... Um, <clears throat> I was actually looking at them um, a while ago, a while back, and it kind of seemed too uh, revolutionary for me at the time, um, so I passed on it and I went for more of a traditional uh, snatch block, but going in there, getting taken care of, I figured it. Eh, might as well uh, spend a little bit of money, you know, support a good business while we can. So that, <clears throat> sorry guys, excuse me. Um, so that being said, I did end up buying this um, donut. I call it a donut. Um, it is a rope retention pulley, or RP, as you can see. Um, and it is basically the same thing as this, but this. So I'll do a little unboxing if I can here, one-handed. Um, this is it, um, it does come with some extra horsepower guys, so that's worth the price right there, um, nice sticker, Factor 55 Precision Engineering, um, let me get this crap out of the way here, uh, so, looking at it, <coughs> uh, you can probably tell why I call it a donut. Uh, it is uh, a donut. Um, this is aluminum. It is a nice one piece of aluminum. There's no forging or casting that I can see. Uh, it just looks like one solid piece of aluminum. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any rope diameter 5 16 to half inch. Uh, rope diameter is 8 to 12 millimeters made in America, um, patent pending, uh, synthetic rope only, uh, will, WLL 22,000 pounds, so, <clears throat> looks like it's rated for 22,000 pounds, which is grotesquely more than my 10,000 pound winch, uh, which is why I thought this would work, um, over here you see these little teeth they're just a little rubber you can see that they're pretty pliable um i do have massive hands uh they're very strong and manually um but that being said uh they are just just a soft rubber uh it doesn't hurt it's not a hard rubber it doesn't seem like it'll damage your line uh your rope whatever you want to call it um that being said uh, it is a little bit different than this, and I'm going to put you guys down for just a second. 
And just like that, I'm back, and you can see that I have an additional item here on the table besides the horsepower. Um, this is a soft shackle. Uh, those of you that don't know, um, I think I did a review on this. I might not have. I really like them. Um, it's the same people that make uh, the bubble ropes and things like that. <coughs> so, that being said, um, this donut requires a soft shackle to be used uh, whereas this can use a d-ring or a soft shackle uh, that would go through here and just click in um, you can't use a d-ring through here uh, one it's substantially thicker um, you'd have to have an enormous d-ring and um, I don't know if you would ruin it but it's not designed for it it's designed for a synthetic, uh, synthetic rope, uh, <coughs> soft shackle, gosh, excuse me guys, um, and it goes through, and as you can see, and I'm doing this one handed, so give me a break, um, and then your winch line would be pulling, and would run just like a pulley. So, um, and then obviously you would take this end and either connect it to another D-ring or to the vehicle. Um, I don't know how it's going to work yet. Um, like I said, the last time I looked at these, they were very revolutionary. Um, revolutionary to my narrow mind, I should say. Um, <coughs> oh goodness. Um, you're my other shitty video, I guess, whatever. Um, but anyways, they, I just couldn't get my mind around, um, away from the traditional, uh, snatch block. A lot of people use these, um, this is kind of the only one that I've seen like this, um, so, uh, yeah, so I passed on it the first time, um, ended up, like I said, buying one of these, um, really liked it so I bought two more um so I had one for my side by side and I am BRP brother um and then I bought two for my uh my land cruiser um and I might transfer it over to my jeep if the jeep ever uh, decides to get up and running again um but that's kind of on the back burner for now so anyways uh I bought these just because you know Warren, go, go Warren, go America, so on and so forth, um, and it was just traditional, you know, ARB makes a ton of these, uh, there's lower end, higher end, um, I just really like it, and it looks good, um, so I kind of strayed away from this, um, but I was fortunate enough to, uh, be in a position where I just decided that I was going to buy this just to try it, um, I was either going to be out the money to replace this broken piece, um, or, uh, not, and it was going to be either fixed or replaced for me, and then, either way, I was going to spend this money, uh, on this. So, uh, that being said, um, these, this thing is pretty expensive, um, for what it seems to be, um, and I say seems to be, uh, because, um, so this is 130 bucks. It's very light. Uh, I would say it's half the weight of this guy. Um, easily half to a third the weight, um, which is nice. This is, uh, oh, um, this is very light. Uh, it will be very nice too. So I'll, I'll probably put this in my vehicle with one of these and then i'll put two of these in my side by side for the time being um <clears throat> yeah um but this being said uh, i can carry this i can put this in like a cargo pocket um it's not heavy um it's nice um I almost thought this was plastic at first. The first time I touched it, I thought it was plastic, um, just for how light it is. But it is, in fact, uh, aluminum. Um, it is hard metal. Obviously, these little uh, fancy spikes are a nice rubber. 
Um, I don't know if they're going to back out or not. Uh, it looks like they do have some kind of a retention system in there. Um, I would imagine if they came out, it would probably still work. And I'm sure Factor 55 would sell me or send me replacements if they did come out. Um, I'm not anticipating them coming out because it doesn't seem like a high use area. Uh, that being said, um, it's very well designed. I mean, this is a piece of machinery. Like, this took some engineering to, uh, <clears throat> to make. Uh, it's all one piece. Um, doesn't have very many, uh, fail points. Um, it does have a downside. Um, uh, you do have to have a, a soft shackle. Um, which, you know, if you're a hardcore guy like myself, uh, you should have a soft shackle. Um, nah, not being, nah, just a joke. Um, but either way, uh, it does require a soft shackle. Kind of a downside, it does add a little bit of extra cost. Uh, these are not cheap, uh, they're like 50 bucks. Um, but they do carry a lifetime warranty. And they are rated for, uh, 45,000 pounds. Um, so... You know, you get what you get, or you get what you pay for, kind of a deal. Uh, that being said, it does require a soft shackle. I am not sure how this is going to mount, if I'm going to need to loop it, like I said, through a soft shackle and then a D-ring uh, to get this away from another vehicle, or farther away from a vehicle. Um, as I move this thing all around and make a bunch of noise for your guys' ears. Um... With this thing looped in together, um, <clears throat> it should have enough to bolt to another vehicle and still not bind up on something, um, but I don't know yet. So I'm going to have to uh, find a Jeep or something to get stuck with. Um, and utilize this. Toyotas don't get stuck, uh, at least until my Jeep is up and running, and then Toyotas will get stuck all the time. Um, now, but that being said, um, I'm really excited about this. So, that's just a look. Um, really nothing else in the box. Uh, 130 bucks, uh, trail toys, uh, lots of ammo, and my, uh, roof rack, and rim wipes, and a trash array. Um, but that being said, um, let me get this out on the trail and we'll do another review on it, maybe an update. Uh, I might do a video of it actually working, um, just to see it. Um, but so far I'm really impressed with it. Um, also, pretty damn impressed with Trail Toys. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a look. That's a look at the uh, Factor 55 Precision Engineering Rope Retention Pulley, or RRP. Um, also kind of, um, an unfortunate look at this, uh, Warren block, um, but a positive note, you know, that the, uh, Trail Toys was able to help me out. They were going to either repair it or replace it. Uh, a guy on Tuesday just replaced it, which was super nice. Um, but that being said, uh, this D-ring snap thing, uh, is a point of failure, um, It'll probably be one of those things. We'll get a set of those cool pliers that open up when you squeeze it instead of, and a couple of these snap rings. Uh, that way, if it does go down, I can at least haphazardly. Oops, sorry about the finger, guys. Um, that way, I can haphazardly get it back up and running. Um, it was explained, you know, if this thing has sideward tension somehow. Uh, ooh, um, it could put pressure on this and snap it. So if it's not an ideal pull. Um, it could damage the ring. I don't know if it was just not seated in there correctly or what, so I'm not sure. But either way, um, I'd like to see a snap ring fail with this guy. Um, because there isn't any. Um, so yeah, that's a 15 minute video, uh, saying the same thing probably a hundred times. Um, if you guys want to like and subscribe, cool. If you don't, uh, don't. But... Uh, guys, have a good morning, and uh, we'll see you guys on the trail.